tutorial we are going to take a look at how to change our transparency. Um, if you want something to be more opaque or more translucent, how do we do that? This is very easily done through our transparency palette. First of all, let's select our object that we want to change the transparency. Let's come over on the right hand side and let's go to our transparency palette. It's right here. It has two circles on top of one another one of them um, semi-translucent. Let's click on that and it pops up with our transparency options. On the opacity we can click on the drop down. We can dry, drag this slider down as you can see it's starting to go a little bit lighter as the white shows through on the bottom layer. And we also can change our blend modes if you're familiar with Photoshop and some of those you can play around with those. I I don't use those an awful lot because a lot of the designs that I do um, that require transparencies I generally do in Photoshop. I do most of my logo work and other such things in Illustrator. So, but you have those options there if you if you want to get more creative. Now let's see how things start to interact with each other now that we have a transparency layer. Now you can see layers are starting to interact with one another. Now, if you don't see your transparency palette over here on the right hand side, let's refer back to our, our first one of our first tutorials where we talked about our palettes and our workspace. If you don't see it, simply go up to Window and then click on Transparency. And then it'll show up here and you can start to apply different transparencies to an object.